I, I can't describe my music, man. One thing I know that it is, is that it's from London. I wouldn't even want to say one genre, because if I say one genre, I've got to say 10 other genres, you know what I mean? So I'll end up saying things like, you know, I was kind of jazzy, funky, soul-y, hip-hop-y, broken beat housey, house-y, disco-y, break beat-y, drum and bass-y, you know? And then by the time they're just looking at you like you're crazy, so. Good evening, Beirut. Let's get this show started now. Chris, put some nice delay on my vocal for me. Make that shit revolutionary. I'm joined by the one they call Tones on the drums this evening, all the way from South London. And the one known as Hercules on bass. Let's go, boys. find that the eureka moments often it's the first take because when you first attempt to do something there is a very natural thing about it it's kind of undescribable to be honest i played with tones and hercs in portugal that was the first time that was one of the that was a moment you see what i mean because it was just so natural After you have a good gig like that, you, maybe in your head, you, without thinking, you're trying to recreate that because you know it's so good, but it's not going to be the same. That's why we don't like to rehearse because then you're constantly having to find new moments.
I was always very, you know, very much into graffiti, street, street art, they call it now, but for me it was always one of the most rawest forms of expression. No one decides who puts up anything where, so it's all down to you. You know, the burden is on you to go and do what you need to do, so that, that forces someone um, to, you know, to go for it, so definitely, definitely, yeah.
tones on the drums. Beirut, what's going on? You know what? I'm not gonna lie to you, Beirut, yeah? I need to see more dancing. I need to see more dancing, yeah? There's not enough movement. I don't know if you've not drunk enough yet or what it is, but listen, we're gonna, we're gonna up the tempo a bit even more now, but I wanna see madness. When I look out, I wanna see madness. Cause this is the first time anyone in my scenes come to this city. And I wanna go back and tell them how brilliant you guys are, yeah? So what are we gonna do for them tones? of uh, flow, I think it comes down to like uh, expression. For one to truly express themselves, I think it requires um, a certain element of not thinking, you know, and being able to get into a mind frame where you're just being, you're just existing. And for me, like uh, art in general and expressing yourself is about freedom. You know what I mean? It's about getting to a point in your art where you can basically achieve a, a sense of freedom. And I think that's what resonates amongst all the different art forms is that there's this element of being free and, and doing whatever you want to do and being kind of less restrained from your environment, you know? That freedom is the most sincere form of art. Do you see what I mean? That's the most sincere expression. Thank you. 
There's definitely times when you're more energetic or you feel inspired more times than others. Um, yeah, I think it's just important to know exactly what you take your inspiration from. environment is a huge part of 
and mood, you know. You have different elements of yourself which come out in different environments. It's always me, but you know, London, due to its environment, is a grey, concrete and fast-paced life. So the music I make in London sometimes reflects that. It can be up-tempo, it can be raw. When I come to somewhere beautiful, more beautiful in terms of its landscape, I might make some more chilled out music.
Someone come and plug in my Juno, please. It's not getting any sound, yo. I need this keyboard right here. Someone come and plug in my Juno, please. I'm gonna pay respects now to all the originators of the UK house movement. Tones, give me that four to the full. Let me explain to them where the sound comes from. For me personally, it's none of it's really planned. It was just using the resources and the facilities that I, that I knew and that I had. You know, that's basically coming from a place where we had limited resources. Not, I never had access to fancy equipment or keyboards. We just had the basic stuff that we had, you know, we could get hold of. So that, Certain people were making beats on a PlayStation 1, you know, or just a computer, that's it, they didn't have anything else, so. Starting from the late 1980s, a band emerging from London. Make some noise for the ones they call Incognito. This is the way that I learned to play and the way that I learned to communicate with other musicians. 
pioneers of a genre called jungle. Lebanon makes some dice for four hero. Is what you're hearing, it was never set out to be like that. It just was the natural end result of my series of experiences. A UK house legend. The one that they call Mr. G. London called Bugs in the Attic. Us man on the stage right now carrying the flag, continuing the lineage of soul music from the UK. Make some noise for Kamal Williams. Thank 
Beirut, it's the last one for Basta. Best 
Let's go now. Thank you. 
I think like listening to music is the best education for anyone who's listening. Your ears are more important than your hands, you know what I mean, in, in music, you know, like what you hear is ultimately what you make, you know what I mean? So that's my advice for anyone, not just in the Middle East, anyone. To be truthful to yourself, to be truthful and sincere, be very clear about what your intention is. Like music's there to be enjoyed. A lot of people worry about what the M is or will I make it, you know. Music, I never started music to, to be getting paid. I started music because I loved it, you know, and I, and, I, and I loved doing it. And that, you can never buy that joy back, you know. You could, you could travel the world, you could make a million pounds, but you won't be able to buy the joyness of making music with your friends and connecting with people and expressing yourself. That is more valuable than anything. So remember why you did it, remember why you're doing it, and um, have fun. And the rest of it, up to the one up there, you know? Baby, one more time for Herx and Tones on drums. Herx on bass, myself, Kamal Williams. We love you, Beirut. Hope to see you soon. God bless you.